Discover Afghanistan, 10 Fascinating Facts Hello folks of Earth! Today we're going on an exciting journey into the amazing country of Afghanistan. In the next little while, we're going to explore 10 facts that make Afghanistan truly special. We'll dive into Afghanistan's interesting history, culture and nature. As we are going to do for each and every country of Earth, so make sure to subscribe. Let's go! Number 1. Territory. Afghanistan is a big country, covering an area of 652,864 square kilometers. To put it in perspective, it's the 41st largest country globally, slightly bigger than France but smaller than Myanmar. You can think of it as being about the same size as the state of Texas in the United States. Afghanistan doesn't have any coastline, it's completely surrounded by land, or landlocked. Because of that, the country is also called the heart of Asia. Number 2. Borders. Afghanistan shares its longest land border, known as the Duran Line, with Pakistan to the east and south. It also has borders with Tajikistan to the northeast, Iran to the west, Turkmenistan to the northwest, Uzbekistan to the north, and China to the far northeast. Additionally, India recognizes a border with Afghanistan through Pakistan-administered Kashmir. Number 3. Nature. In Afghanistan, nature showcases its breathtaking beauty through a diverse array of landscapes. While mountains and rugged terrain dominate much of the country, these aren't just any mountains. Afghanistan boasts some of the world's most spectacular peaks. Within its borders, you'll discover the towering Hindu Kush and Pamir mountain ranges, where pristine glaciers glisten under the sun. But Afghanistan isn't all about heights, it also features vast plateaus and fertile river basins. That cradle the life-giving waters of the Amu Darya and the Helmand River. This diverse natural tapestry provides a home to an incredible array of wildlife. Number 4. People. The population of Afghanistan can be a bit tricky to pin down precisely. In 2019, the Afghanistan Statistics and Information Authority estimated it at around 32.9 million people, while the United Nations thinks it's over 38 million. Back in 1979, Afghanistan had a population of around 15.5 million. Of these, approximately 24% lived in cities, 71% resided in rural areas, and the remaining 5% were nomadic. Also, around 3 million Afghans found temporary homes in neighboring Pakistan and Iran. Most of them were born and raised in those two countries. By 2013, Afghanistan had held the title of being the largest producer of refugees worldwide for 32 years. Number 5. The Flag of Afghanistan. The national flag of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan underwent a significant change on 2021, following Taliban's takeover. The new flag features a white background adorned with a prominent black Shahada inscription. Afghanistan's history with national flags has seen several alterations over the 20th century, with the predominant colors being black, red, and green. The internationally recognized flag of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan continues to be the tricolor flag. Number 6. Diplomacy. Afghanistan holds a United Nations membership, even though its current government remains unrecognized by most nations. As of September 8, 2021, no country had officially acknowledged the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan as the legitimate government. Even without international recognition, the Emirate still maintains unofficial ties with certain nations including China, Pakistan, and Qatar. In contrast, the previous Islamic Republic of Afghanistan enjoyed amicable relations with various NATO and allied nations. Particularly the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Germany, Australia, and Turkey. In 2012, the United States and the former Afghan Republic signed a strategic partnership agreement, designating Afghanistan as a major non-NATO ally. However, this status was revoked by the U.S. President Joe Biden in July 2022. Number 7. Capital. Kabul, the capital and largest city of Afghanistan, lies in the eastern region of the country. As of 2023 estimates, Kabul is home to approximately 4.95 million residents. Nestled high in a narrow valley within the Hindu Kush mountains and bordered by the Kabul River, the city sits at an elevation of 1,790 meters. This makes Kabul one of the world's highest capital cities. Kabul boasts a rich history, 
with references dating back over 3,500 years, including during the time of the Achaemenid Persian Empire. Regarding the Afghanistan area, it is administratively divided into 34 provinces, each overseen by a governor with its own capital. Number 8. Language. Afghanistan has two official languages, Pashto and Dari. Despite its size, the country is incredibly linguistically diverse, with more than 40 distinct languages spoken. Among these, Dari and Pashto stand out as the most prominent. Dari holds a special place as a shared language among various ethnic groups, acting as a historical lingua franca that bridges different linguistic communities. Pashto, on the other hand, is also prevalent in the region, although it's primarily spoken by Pashtuns and not as commonly used by non-Pashtuns. Number 9. Religion. Afghanistan is predominantly Islamic, with 99.7% of its population adhering to Islam. Sunni Islam is followed by the majority, with about 90% of Afghans practicing this branch. In 2022, Afghanistan received a low rating of 1 out of 4 for religious freedom from Freedom House. The religious landscape of Afghanistan has undergone significant changes throughout its history. In ancient and classical times, Zoroastrianism, Hinduism, and later Buddhism were the primary faiths in the region. However, Islam gained prominence starting in the 7th century AD when the Rashidun Caliphate established control over parts of the area. Number 10. Economy. Despite possessing abundant mineral wealth, Afghanistan remains one of the world's least developed nations. This can be attributed to its challenging physical geography and landlocked status. Along with persistent conflicts and political instability hindering progress. The country faces a trade imbalance, importing goods valued at over 7 billion while exporting only 784 million, primarily comprising fruits and nuts. Afghanistan also struggles with a significant external debt of 2.8 billion US dollars. In terms of its economy, the service sector is the largest contributor, making up 56% of the GDP, followed by agriculture at 23% and industry at 21%. Agriculture plays a crucial role, employing approximately 40% of the workforce. Afghanistan is renowned for its production of pomegranates, grapes, apricots, melons, and various fresh and dried fruits. Afghanistan's nominal GDP was 20 billion US dollars in 2020, or 81 billion US dollar by purchasing power parity. Have you been to this country or are you from Afghanistan? Please let us know your thoughts about this country in the comments. That's it folks. Thank you so much for watching the video and please remember to hit the like button. And subscribe so we can explore more of our amazing earth together. So, see you in the next video.